All right, we're gonna do something a little bit different on this video rather than me giving instruction like you usually see You're gonna see me getting instruction from one of my mentors John Schmiel. He is at Wausau Flying Service in Wausau, Wisconsin Fantastic guy just the old-school aviator and here we are in this old-school airplane this 1941 I believe Stearman that is called Orange Ruffy. Orange Ruffy is a fish, if I'm not mistaken. So beautiful orange steerman, a lot of fun to fly. It's old school aviator type flying. And here you're gonna see John Schmill take me through a lesson on how to take off the steerman. Just a total blast. On the takeoff before we head out. We're in a minute. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Chris, is we're gonna turn around and line up in the middle of the grass runway. Okay. Now, you can't see anything forward, Chris. So what you're gonna do is, you look at the frame of your windshield here, okay? okay? And as you look right through it, your peripherals kind of tell you where you are on the runway. But if you want to know more specifically where you're at, you kind of got to scan both the left side and the right side of your windshield here. Okay. Okay? And what I do is I see where is the vicinity of the paved runway to this windshield here. Sure. Okay? And as you're going down, your scan is going from here, using your peripheral, to here, to see the distance from the runway, to over here. Uh huh. And that's your scan, the whole takeoff, and that'll help keep you straight. Okay. okay. And then, of course, in a tail dragger, um, you know this already because you already are a tail dragger pilot, but the biggest mistake I see with non-tail dragger pilots trying to fly tail draggers is they push and hold the rudder. So what happens is the longer they hold it, the more it's amplified. I always tell people, jab and neutralize. Right. And that'll just make things go so smooth. All right, we'll let him take off and we'll turn around and go. Now, I like staying in this position. That tells him that we're in not a yeah. position to take it's off. Cur it's a courtesy, yeah. Yep. I tell my students about that a whole lot. I'm like, okay, just sit here and keep turned this way so they know. We're not going anywhere. Not only that, think about if he thought you were taking off, but he was taking off, how much brain power he's oh, yeah. worrying about you when he should be Distraction worrying about you. Distraction for him, off. yep. What kind of Piper is that? Light sport uh, yeah, it's a light sport cruiser is what it's called. It's distributed by Piper, I think. All right. When you're ready. All right. That right there is what they call the continental cough. And what it's telling you is you're advancing the throttle just a little too quickly. So be very smooth on the throttle. Okay. It usually takes... Well, I think just like that video that I watched you do the other day. Think about five seconds to go from idle power to full power. Okay. Now, what's what's the takeoff technique in this? Is it any different? I mean... So we've got it pretty much trimmed up for the takeoff. Okay. So what you're going to do is after you get to full power with your left hand, just let the stick go where it wants to go. Okay. Let it go up at least two to three hundred feet down the runway like that. And all of a sudden, the tail's probably going to want to pick up all by itself. Uh-huh. And it's going to establish the pitch attitude for you. Okay. And once that happens, then you can take the stick and apply enough pressure to make sure it takes off in that attitude. Okay. Okay? So really we're just, we're kind of letting it do we it. We just let it go here, and then we may pull back a little bit to pull back, but that's about it. Exactly. All right. And we'll take off probably right around where the cones are. And we do have a right crosswind. Is yep. that correct? If we do have a right crosswind, but because of these trees, we probably won't not feel much, much of, a, of, an, of an effect. Okay. Wausau traffic, orange biplanes departing. One tree, Wausau. And we'll be left turn out to the east after departure. I don't want to cross it. It's the cool one side of the park All right, go ahead and let us stick where it wants to go. Just a little to the left. A little to the left. <laughs> Look at your right wing, set the three point attitude. Just a little nose down. Wow. Now we're having the crab into that wind. Yep. Now you can go 
ahead and hit that right intercom button. And that makes it so we have to push the white button to talk on the intercom. All right, got it. So what you want to do is just put the nose down just right about there. That should give us about 70, 72, something like that. Pretty amazing. I know, isn't it? This is a lot like what heaven's going to be like, Chris. Oh man, all the time. Now if you look at the terrain up ahead of us, you're going to see nothing but buildings to the left and houses to the right. I call those lawsuit shelters. Let's stay away from the lawsuit shelters. So when we get on the far side of this little flowage here, make a left turn and let's head to the northeast. Alright, I got it. By the way, that takeoff was all you, man. I didn't have nothing to do with that. That was pretty fun. Alright, this is the least populated area here. Let's head out in this direction. Alright, got it. We could make it back to the field if we had. Stay firm. Alright, so that is it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you a really, really fun time. Uh, learning to fly the airplane by chasing falling toilet paper it creates this big long stream. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, share. Thank you for coming along, and until next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.